Hello. Today, we are going to be talking about weight, and we will be comparing objects to see which is heavier and which is lighter. So, on the first question, we see an airplane and we see a whistle. Now, an airplane, let's think about it for a second. An airplane is going to be heavy. We say it's heavy because we travel in it. People go inside of it, okay? I can't carry an airplane. The other picture, the whistle, we would say is probably light. We say the whistle is light because that's something we would hold in our hands. So let's think about it. We have a plane that's really heavy that we can fit inside of. It could be one person, it could be a hundred people, or a whistle that I could carry in my hand or put in my pocket. So based on what we know, it would be better off to say that the plane is heavier. Next, we have a train engine and we have a penny, one cent. You might say, that's not a penny. That's not what's on the penny. That's the back of the penny. That is still a penny. And again, we want to know which object is heavier. So let's talk about it. Think about the last question we just did with the whistle and the airplane. The airplane could fit people inside of it. Okay, so looking at these two objects, which object do you think could fit people inside of it? I hope you said train. You can even see the compartment where the person would go, the conductor or the controlling uh, officer to direct the train on the tracks. The penny would be similar to the whistle because the whistle was light. And think about your parents or grandparents or even you. If you get money, what do you do with it? You can put it in a wallet, you can put it in your pocket. So in this case, the object that is heavier is what? Go ahead and answer it. It is the train. Next up is the moon and a ladybug. So let's think about it again. We have the moon. Where is the moon? Is the moon something that we would have outside our window, on our lawn, or is it up in the sky? And how about a ladybug? Do we see that in outer space? Or is that something we could see in our lawn or on a window? So think about what you just did with the first two questions. We had a train that was heavier and a plane that was heavier. So looking at the moon and the ladybug, which one is going to be heavier? Compare it to the other two objects that were heavier from the last two questions. And it should be moon. Keep up the awesome job, guys. Okay, again, we still want to know what's heavier. We have a school bus and we have a clover or a shamrock. Let's compare again. What do we already know? Think about those last questions we already answered. We know that the moon, the plane, and the train were heavy. We know that the ladybug and the penny and the whistle were very light. 
So think about, compare each to each other. Would the bus be heavier than the shamrock or clover? Think about it. Can I have a person sit on top of a clover? No way. Can I fit inside a school bus? Yes. So which one is heavier? It should be the school bus. We have another picture still comparing a school bus, but this time instead of a plant like the shamrock or clover, it's an apple. Now, take what you already know. It's just like last time. And unless you are like James and the giant peach, where the peach is gigantic and you can fit inside of it, that's not happening. So again, which object is heavier? It is the bus. And now we have two things that we've already seen. We have our moon and we have the clover. We already know the moon is pretty big. The moon is big and it's in outer space. And we know the clover is small. Ooh, let's fix that. We know that the moon is big and in outer space. And we know the clover is small. We know it can fit inside our hand. So knowing that, those should give me a big hint that which one is lighter this time. We don't want to know what's heavier. We want to know which one is lighter. Great job. Again, we're not talking heavy this time. It says which object is lighter. We have our whistle which we said can fit in our pocket or in the palm of our hand. We can carry it around. A coach can use it for sports. And we have a train that you can travel in. You fit inside of it. So which object is lighter? Whistle. You are rocking it. Ooh, we have a new picture this time. This time, we do have our ladybug. And this time we have a pool filled with water. You might love swimming in the pool in the summertime when it's nice and hot, helps you cool off. So ladybug, we already know. Ladybug, they are little. And they are small and they are light. You can have one on your hand and it might tickle you and it feels silly, but it's not going to squish you. And then a pool is very big. And it's most likely very heavy. So we want to know which object is lighter. Is it going to be the pool filled with water? Or is it the little ladybug? Ladybug it is. This time, we still want to know which object is lighter. We have our clover again, and this time we have a car. Use what you know. The clover is lighter. Last one. Train and whistle. Which is lighter? We've seen both of them before. 
think about it, which can fit in my hand? The answer is whistle. Good job. You rocked it. Keep up the good job and we'll do some more later.